And I, again, if he if he takes his foot to the other side, uh, over to the to the right, I can switch my lock down and lock him down on this side. And then if he brings it towards his butt, then I can find it and then I can lock him down here. So you can just get your lock down tighter. And all I'm doing is triangling my leg and then I get the, the loose foot that's here under his foot. Now I can stretch his leg out and I can coil it back in. And see how it's moving his body? Because now I have control of his leg and his hip. So from here, I'm in the lockdown position and it makes it really hard for him to pass my guard. So if he tries to pass my guard from here, he's stuck, okay? Um, I'm gonna take my hand on his hip and I can stretch him down. Now I, I whip him up. It's called a whip up. So I whip him up either by his armpits or his belt or wherever you can grab. So down, you whip him up, get his weight off of you. That allows me to rotate and come up. Now I can release my leg and come up here. Now from here, I can either take him down. I can um, go ahead and use my, put my hook in, pull him into my lap. Um, so just whatever. Basically, whatever you want to, to do to, to, to take him down or take his back from here. Um, so, let's see. So, one more time. We'll go for the, for the lockdown. And then, another thing, too, guys, you, can, you got your whip up, but you can also, if he goes to, to combat base on this leg, Again, I can dive under that leg, get it onto my neck, and fall to my side. When I fall to my side, I make sure that my, my leg is under his right knee. See how his right knee is elevated? His right knee is not touching the mat, and neither is his uh, left knee. And I'm on my side, and that allows me to stretch his leg and pull down on his knee, and there's the electric chair submission. It's gonna stretch his groin out until he taps. If somebody can do the splits, or they don't have any issues with their groin, you won't be able to submit them from here. So after you try a couple times, they're not tapping, you can just move their leg out of the way and you can come up. And now you're in dope mount. And I to the uh, one more time. And then as far as you know, what people are doing wrong here, uh, some of the things that, you know, to troubleshoot is when, when he goes to the combat base, and you're doing your electric chair, there's two things that I'm doing wrong here that's gonna make him not tap. One is his knees on the mat. So he's resting his knee on the mat. Even when I stretch, he doesn't tap. Two, his leg is laying down on my chest. So when I pull down, his foot is on the mat and his back of his leg is on my chest. His face isn't even changing, it doesn't bother him. So I have to push him over to the side. Now I have leverage on his leg and I have uh, on his right leg and his left leg. Now I can, his right knee is not on the mat anymore, neither is his uh, right foot and his left foot or his left leg's not on the mat or on my chest anymore. Now I pull it down, stretch, there's the electric chair tap. Um, if you don't wanna pull the leg this way, some people don't like doing that, all you have to do is come up on your elbow and then come up and then you can pass on this side as well. Does that make sense? If they come up to combat base, if they don't come up to combat base, you can just do the whip up, come up to dogfight position, take their back, or uh, take them down. Is that what we got? All right, so we'll try that for a little bit, and then we'll go over the defense. One, two, three.